What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thrift and today I'm going to be showing you a way to play Waven on mobile. It's using Steam and using Steam Link. I used to do this all the time for Dofus back in the day and I would play Dofus from work. So it actually works really well for Waven. And let me show you how you should set up your device. Now, I wouldn't expect this to be perfect. Sometimes it does bug out and the, and the controls might be a bit laggy. This works way better if you are at home and you're just wanting to like lounge in the living room and watch a movie while playing. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the Steam Link app and then you need to connect that to your Steam account. Once you've done that, you're going to have on your device a, an app called Steam Link. When you do have Steam Link, you're going to need to make sure that you connect the to the PC. You're going to need to also connect what type of controller you want. Um, I, I just use the touch controller since I'm using my cell phone. You can set up the controls pretty nice. So all you need to do is go up here and select the PC, choose the PC that you are using that you want to connect to. Uh, for streaming, you can change the quality of everything if you are having some issues once you get in. Just keep everything default for now just so you can get in. Once you have Steam uh, active on your PC like I do right now, you should be able to click and start playing. This is going to open up the big picture mode of Steam and you're going to see something happen on your screen. Now once you see that, all you need to do now is just start the game of Waven. So your controls right now are going to have a default setting. Don't stress about this much. Um, just get to the Waven game and press play. Now this is going to give you just a default of, you know, some tools that you may be using. We're not going to use any of that. But what you want to do is you want to get into the Waven game. And once we're here, we're going to modify the controls. We're going to do that on the PC and then that will automatically update on the device itself and then we're actually going to be able to move the buttons that we make around the screen to set them up exactly how we want so looking back at the mobile device what you can do is in the upper left hand corners there's this there's this arrow with three dots these are going to be all of your settings for uh, your screen and see so there's a lot of options here you can change what uh, the type of controller that you want this is all of the screen buttons on the screen I prefer direct cursor for this game I'll show you how I have it set up um, once you have those figured out you can go to layout controls and these are all of the controls that you can add and move onto the screen for example I can select the WASD and now I have a joystick for WASD keys on a traditional keyboard. I can move this where I want to, or I can simply move it over here and trash it. So you can very easily choose what you want to use. Once you have your setup how you like it, all you need to do is go back into the settings and click the X and click the X once more. And now you're in your settings. Now we have a trackpad mouse already, so we don't need this uh, this big one here. So let's get back in here. I have it set up. So all I need to do is just press on my screen where I want to go and it's automatically going to begin logging in for me. Now that I'm on the game of Waven, I can simply click around and that key that mouse button is going to move to wherever I press on my cell phone. Now it's not going to be extremely crisp or clear because we are using a streaming function, uh, but this is a great way to set this all up. Now, when you go into your features, you're not going to have all of these buttons on the right side, a one through seven. I set these keys up so that pretty much everything in the game, you can press a key to use. And all you have to do is tap on the screen where you want to play it. So I have this kind of mapped on my screen. If you see here, I have a blue button on the left side, one through seven and an X button. I have all these programmed to be able to use my reserve AP on the left spells one through seven and then the x button is to end my turn so i don't have to do anything but press what spell i want to use tap on the target uh, use my reserve by pressing a button and you end my turn by pressing another button so it is pretty easy to use let me show you i also have these buttons on the right side to scroll in and out so just to make it easier to press on npcs and press on their buttons 
I can click and drag to move to any any of these uh, challenges I want to. And how we have these set up, I should be able to always press play. So here I am in a fight. I'm just gonna make sure I'm hovering over the map and I can scroll in just to make this a bit easier. So here I am. For me to move, all I have to do is just double tap and drag so I can move my character. And then I can press spells corresponding to where they are in the position of my hand. So if I wanna use that purple skill in the middle, it would be key number three. And then I just have to tap on a cell that I wish to use that on. And I can easily cycle through by tapping on whatever whatever key I need. When I end my turn, I'll just press X. You could also not even use that and just use the actual button itself. I like having the physical buttons. It just makes it a bit easier in my opinion. But yeah, you can see it's not too bad to play in this way. You can very easily get around and uh, you could you could do some easy farming. You could level up new characters with this. Um, it's not the most difficult way to play the game if you're just trying to relax around. Some other important buttons that I do have here is, of course, the escape key in the upper right hand corner, just in case you want to give up, log out or cancel any functions. And then you definitely want to have this big middle steam button. Now, this steam button, when pressed, it's going to take you to um, the game settings. And this is something we need to do right now um, on your PC. What you should be doing right now is moving your moving your cursor. You want to go to the controller settings and you want to edit these controller settings. OK, and what we want to be editing here. We want to edit the layout and what we want to do is let's mess with the A and B buttons. And we're gonna we're gonna change those uh, to the space key, which this space key is to end our turn. You can change the icon to whatever you want to. So you saw on my screen the red X meant that I'm exiting or uh, ending my turn, and then I have the blue O uh, kind of resonating with the reserve, and I change that to the R key. So these are the hot keys in game. The most important thing we need to do is scroll down to the macro buttons. So these macro buttons are going to be our key functions one through seven, which is going to allow us to activate our spells. So all you need to do is just make sure you go through all of these macro buttons, set them one through seven. You can set a icon if you want to. I'd recommend not to since it just shows one through seven. It's really easy to know that, you know, these are your spells list. Once you have all of those macro buttons active, then you can exit out of here, go back into the game, go back to your phone, and then click on that upper left area, the arrow with the three dots. And now when you go to layout controls, you'll see one through seven functions on the right side of this menu. And you can very easily click on that, drag it around to where you want to have it and set it in and take some time with it. Make sure it looks nice. Make sure it looks clean. You can do the same thing for the scroll wheel option. The scroll wheel option, you also need to clean up and um, you should have the option for that right here. They have it set to bumpers. It doesn't necessarily matter what button it is. You're going to be able to choose it, uh, but change the icon just to make it a bit easier for yourself. So I just changed these icons to the input scroll down and up so I know exactly what I'm doing here and then scroll down and scroll up. And of course, you can do this with anything. You can go to any of these buttons and you can change the icon and add anything you want to here if you want to advance this game even further. These are some very basic buttons that would be necessary to play this game. And as you can see, um, we are able to play fairly well um, with what we're trying to accomplish here. Just doing some quick farming or just doing some level ups. So it's not too bad. I do hope you enjoy this. It's a very easy way to play uh, via mobile without downloading anything or trying to get access to uh, the Malaysian web store that I've seen some people advertising. Um, if you want to try this on mobile without having to actually download anything suspicious, you have the ability to do it through Steam. So give it a shot. If you have any further questions about how to set this up, feel free to join the Discord or pop onto Twitch. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video real soon.